Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell as well. And let's get right to it. So this is going to be a little bit more of a somber kind of video. Because it has to do with the passing of, I guess you could call her really an American icon. And that is former First Lady Barbara Bush. Bar Barbara Bush, of course, the, the wife of Pre the 41st president of the United States, George H.W. Bush, uh, who, of course, you know, he was the president when we went to war in, I believe, 91, 92, you know, in the first Gulf War. But the one thing about Barbara Bush is she she would not, I don't think she'd fit anywhere really in a, in a decent area in politics today because she was a decent person. And we lack that, it seems like, in our political discourse and with our politicians. Now, sure, she may not have been, you know, an elected official herself, but she did a lot of good and had a lot of good causes for people. One of those was literacy. She had her son, a son who she had, um, his name was Neil. And he, and he was dyslexic which made her feel that literacy was really important. She realized how important it was to the point that she created the, what's it called here? Let me make sure I have the right name. I don't want to call it by the wrong name and get somebody attacking me for it. Uh, the Barbara, Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy. And that led, you know, that helped a lot of people, you know, get out of the cycle of, of, illiteracy you know people being illiterate was a big problem at one point in this country more people you know fewer people are dealing with that she's part of the reason for that you know as as first lady that's one thing she, that was the one thing she fought for was literacy you know all first all first ladies have a you know something that they really care about and you know something that drives them you know with melania right now she says it's anti-bullying and with Barbara Bush, it was literacy. And she did a lot of good. She wrote books. You know, she had books written where she gave the money away, you know, to charity for people to help with literacy. And that was her ma major cause as First Lady. And so, you can't really say much bad about Barbara Bush. You know, sure, she, you, you may not agree with her husband's politics or her son's politics or even her politics overall. But the one thing you can't take away from this woman is the fact that she stood up for people that were less fortunate. Those that didn't have, you know, didn't have a voice. She was there for them. When they were people, you know, when they couldn't, you know, if there's people that were illiterate, she was there helping them. You know, and she ran, she formed an entire, you know, program to help these people and to help break that cycle and I think that's just amazing to know that you know she may have been a Republican or a conservative or whatever you want to call her her husband may have been a Republican but she was a good person and I think really I think America lost a great one yesterday so to the Bush family, I, I send my deepest condolences, and I, I am sorry for your loss. And, you know, she's, she, I know you, you lost a you know, major important person in your family. And I think America lost a, a very important person as well. You asked me, Barbara Bush is an icon. She'll never be, you know, there'll never be another Barbara Bush, and especially not in the political world. There are going to be other people out there that are going to take, you know, that'll do the same things that she did. But the class and dignity in which she did it, and the fact that she didn't care, you know, if she was helping, she didn't care if you were a Republican or a Democrat. You know, and there's other other things she did. You know, she was a big, you know, a big champion for education in general, not just literacy, but in education in general. And it all stemmed from her son. Neil being dyslexic and I think it's just amazing the work she did and the things she did and I've always had the you know utmost respect 
for Barbara Bush. So rest in peace. Um, I'm, I'm very sad to see your passing, but you were you were, you will be missed, and you were you know greatly appreciated. I don't know if everybody appreciated what you did or knew the work that you did, but Barbara Bush, you were you were a, a class act, and. That's really all I have to say on that. I'll be bringing you another video later. I just didn't feel like this should be put into another video. I just wanted to put this out there, you know, let y'all know what happened. And unfortunately, Barbara Bush, I believe she was, what, 92? And um, she passed away yesterday, apparently surrounded by family. Yeah, she was 92, just to make sure that I had it right. Didn't want anybody thinking I was an idiot. But anyhow, y'all have a great day. Keep the Bush family in your thoughts and prayers. And I'll see you down the road.